Thank you, Mr. Jefferson and distinguished judges and questioners. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Two years ago, I was in church of a junior high school boy in a cram school. I started the first lesson, truthfully. Okay, let's start the first English lesson. Please open the textbook to page 36. Please read the sentence. The sentence in the textbook was, I have a lot of homework to do today. I think it should have been very easy for him, but he was still quiet. I asked him, why are you so quiet? You can read it, can't you? Yes, he really can't read it from the beginning. It means that he can't even read simple words like I or you. Even though he was a second grade student. I was so upset about why he couldn't read English. The reason why he couldn't study is that he has dyslexia. It is one of the learning disabilities. So today, I'd like to talk about the learning disabilities. I want to tell you about the important thing through my experience. I hope my speech will be a trigger for you to understand people with learning disabilities. Firstly, I want to tell you what LD learning disabilities is. It includes a variety of learning problems, for example, reading, writing, calculating, thinking, and speaking. If certain area of learning is consistently problematic, it might be considered as LD. In addition, LD is a kind of natural disability, and it is extremely difficult to treat. According to the Ministry of Education, about 5% of children is affected by learning disabilities. In other words, if you were in a class of 30 people as a student, one or two of your classmates are suffering from LD. Unconsciously, you encounter people with LD in your daily life. Now, people with LD tend to have low self-esteem. Why? Because our attitude towards people with LD is wrong. Because of LD, they cannot basically read, write, or perform simple calculation. However, we, it is difficult for us to understand the situation. And we want them to be able to do it, don't we? So, we scored them, such as, Why couldn't you do such an easy thing? Please concentrate on studying. Even though they are trying to study very seriously. In the same way, I also scored my student. But it was meaningless. He said impatiently. Teachers. Parents and even classmates have said the same thing to me. I have heard enough of it. At the time, I couldn't say anything. If this situation persists for an hour, for a day, for a year, their motivation not only for studying but also for everything will be completely lost. Actually, my student was like that. One day, I asked him about his school life. I was so shocked. He said that he slept throughout the day, including Blake, because he couldn't understand any classes. What did he learn in school? Perhaps he learned helplessness that he can't study at all. Then, are they truly hopeless? 
No, they're absolutely not. Indeed, people with LD have some difficulties that they have a great talent to make up for it. For example, some of them have a special talent of mathematics that they cannot read and write letters. Like this, most of people with LD are good at specific field despite their difficulty. In order to improve their situation, what should we do? The important thing is that to gain their confidence through our attitude towards them. In fact, some people with LD have succeeded through that attitude. Tom Cruise, one of the most famous actors around the world, is one of them. Actually, he has LD. So, when he was a child, he didn't have any confidence because he couldn't keep up with the classwork in school. But his mother always supported his classwork and encouraged him. Thanks to her, he didn't lose his confidence. This is why he showed his great ability to the world. So, what I want you to do for people with LD is that supporting their study and encouraging to gain their confidence. In fact, I tried two things for his class. The first one is supporting their study, supporting the area of his disability. For example, during Japanese class, I let him all sentence in the textbook to help his understanding. To do so, he can understand the story and answer the question about that sentence. The second one is not to scold him because of his difficulty. When he couldn't answer the question, I don't say, Why couldn't you do such an easy question? But instead I say, Let's think about where you don't understand. Through that attitude, I try to change his attitude. Two years later, since the first lesson, the boy graduated his junior high school. Most of the students are also graduated from club school, but he still remains there. And he said, I want to take more of your lesson. When I heard his words, my heart was filled with pleasure because my attitude could change his attitude. Now, he looks more confident than before. Ladies and gentlemen, if you meet people with LD, please be careful with your attitude because our attitude can change their attitude and that has the power to change their future. Thank you. Yes, uh, thank you, Mr. Kusaka. Thank you. thank you for enlightening us on LD. I didn't know much about LD. Uh, you mentioned that some have become experts of mathematics, oh, and while um, they didn't know how to read, how to what, how to read, uh, how to write letters. Yeah. But despite that fact, they become uh, experts in mathematics. Mm -hmm. How is it possible for them? to become experts while they're uh, not able to read or write. Okay. In, in that person, uh, yeah, I know that person in through my searching and I find the one's uh. blog and he is a specialist of mathematics but they cannot speak languages, uh, writing languages, reading languages. He, he isn't, he cannot it, but now, um, how to how how to learn study? Yeah, how did he uh, become an expert of mathematics? He can't read or write. So uh, um, how was it possible for him to become an expert? Who is he in the first place? Who is he? Who is he? Yeah, who, who's an expert? Um, in LD? The, specifically, I. I said in my speech that the mathematics expert is uh, I don't sorry I know the actual name because they, I he's, he's on the website right 
Yeah. So you saw the website. Um, yeah. That's okay. Go on. Yes. Yeah. Yes, please. Go on. So how? How? Yes. Um, he said, um, yeah, some letters are the, he, he looks, he noticed that the, some le letters are something like pattern. He only, what, just, he looks just pattern, but um, only, or, uh, no. So he resorted to just sight. Yeah, just saw the letters and understood yeah. and did. But he can not, yeah, he can notice the okay. sound, number, or. So he used visual aids. Right, okay, so read and write, so just saw those uh, formulas and things like that. Okay, that's good. Yeah. The so second question is that um, I think it's um, better for us to leave this issue to experts. Basically, we are not experts, right? So our encouraging words, which we deem encouraging, may sometimes hurt those people if they be like you know, when we say, cheer up, cheer up, do your best, you know, you've done a good job, but they would take it well. Kind of discouraging word. Oh, I've been doing a lot, make, making a lot of effort, but failing. You know. Uh, so, is it? Do you think it's better for us to leave this issue to experts rather than we, you know, take actions? Sorry, could you repeat uh, the question? Okay. Is it better for us to leave this issue to experts, yeah, rather than we, non-experts, take action? Uh, uh, in this speech, I want to say. Uh, to help the people with LD, uh, I want to do. I want to be. I want people with LD be our uh, expert. Uh, it is extremely difficult to be expert. Yeah. There are experts who treat LD. I. So what you're saying that uh, in the first place we leave this issue to experts and then we help as supplementary I, actions. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yes, it is. This is the right way. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.